welcome back to the Norm Zone ITC training video. As you can see here, uh, today we're going to learn more about Illustrator. Alright, we're going to learn how to create a prospective map like this. Alright, and also to create a 3D object. Uh, for those of you who don't know, right, most of the maps in Singapore are also trademark. So if you want to use them, you have to pay royalty. Best if you, you can use for, uh, Illustrator to, uh, to actually draw your own map. Alright, we are not going to draw something complicated. I'm not going to draw so complicated. We're going to draw actually something simpler. Alright, just to give you an idea of how we're going to go about it. I'll go to your Illustrator. Alright, call our map. Okay, this is your map. Alright, so what we're going to do? We're going to actually uh, trace out from here. Okay, you can actually uh, draw out your map. Okay, using a, a paper and draw out and then scan it in. Okay, you can also trace from there. Okay, we're gonna learn a few things over here. First, we're gonna learn how to trace. All right. So, as you can see, most of them are actually uh, just shapes. So you can use this triangle too. All right. Look for the one with the round, rounded triangle too. All right. And what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna just put the shapes. Okay. Uh. Pick this, you can actually uh, pick the color you want. Okay, just draw out the shape. Very simple. Just draw out the shape. Alright, keep your map as simple as possible. Okay, so it's easier. And then try to draw in landmarks. Like if there's an MRT station like this, we're going to put in an MRT station. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do? Okay. So once you're done, if you notice, right, close this. You go to your layers. If I close this, you notice that this are your shapes that you've drawn earlier. All right. You need to go up. See under your layers, you see an arrow over here. These are all the different uh, shapes that you've drawn earlier. They're all in layers. This is how actually it's very similar to how Photoshop is working. It's worked by layers. Okay, so next what we're gonna do, it's very simple. So next what we're gonna do, uh we're gonna actually uh, draw another shape for that, right? I think I'll just want the outline. I wouldn't want any uh So this is going to be the outline. Okay, what next we're going to do? We're going to actually label all the landmark buildings in the map. So go to your T. This is your type key. It's quite similar to Photoshop again. All right, you can just type. Okay, over here you see this is your fill, which means what color, uh, the color of your uh, font. Okay, and over here you can choose different kind of fonts. Okay, we just go with Gothic. Okay, next, you can ball it. Okay, this is actually the different point size of the font. Okay, next, we're gonna name it. New. Rook. change the size so maybe something like this you can just put it in okay so okay next we're gonna learn you gotta learn how to tilt this over here. Okay, you basically can rotate your text. What you're gonna do once you're done, select this the black arrow over here, go to the corner, or to your shift and just turn. Okay. We are done. Very simple. 
Okay, and once you're done, you you have something like this, which I'm going to show you. So once you're done. So once you have done, you have something like this. And next, what you're going to do, you're going to group this. All right, select everything. All right, and go to group. Go to object, group. Okay, and you're done. Okay, and you can drag wherever you want the object to be. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, if you have any question again, you can actually email me. This is my email below. Alright, uh, do come back again for part 2 where I'm going to teach you how to rotate this uh, map in perspective and also to create uh, 3D, uh, how to create 3D models around it. Alright, thank you. See you again. Bye-bye.